Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly uh, love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For those of you guys that are new to my channel, welcome. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe so that you can um, allow us to continue growing our channel. For those of you guys that have been with us for uh, recently or those of you guys that have been with us for a very long time, welcome again. Let's get into your readings. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing amazing. Let's get right into your reading, Capricorn. How are you doing, Cappies? I hope you guys are doing amazing. Hope everything is going well for you guys. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys in regards to love and romance for the month of September 2021. All right, let's get into your reading, Capricorn. <clears throat> wow. The first card here is the Tower, the Five of Pentacles, Temperance, Five of Swords, Two of Wands. Okay, so there is a situation that is unfolding for some of you guys. This could have been something very transformative. Could have been a situation that really made you question this relationship or this connection. With the Five of Pentacles, I feel that there is a feeling of being... Uh, not appreciative um, or appreciated, um, a feeling of not really knowing. There's a lot of uncertainty here right now. With the temperance, timing is uh, very important right now, and that's what's taking place at the moment. Um, Five of Swords, there was a confrontation, or you could be experiencing some type of confrontation here uh, for the month remaining of September, where this is going to be almost like can we will we be able to come back from this will we be able to overcome this um i see a lot of like chaotic type of energy a lot of confrontation and i feel that it's coming from an ego uh side so this could be you or this could be your person that is going to be very something is going to be unfolding where it makes you question the whole connection or the whole relationship um it could be that there are some type of feelings of in denial on their part. Um, temperance is always about, you know, things are still unfolding. Um, with the Five of Swords, what they're telling you is don't let the ego get in the way, Capricorn. Um, I feel that for a lot of you guys, this could be a situation that arises where it's going to um, really question your patience. There is some type of disrespect that's going to be unfolding or you feeling like they've crossed the line um and again there is almost like uh can we come back from this i do see you wanting to hear from them or wanting to um uh wanting or expecting for them to have a gesture with you after this unfolds so it's almost as if you know you they could push you to you know push you to your limit but within that time frame um when everything is going on and i do see a confrontation you guys so uh, this is what i am seeing what i'm being shown is almost like your shadow side taking over and their shadow side um there is a lot of similarities that are that are going on right now uh with you and your partner or person of interest and i feel that um things can you know uh, get to the boiling point basically um but i feel that a lot of the work that needs to happen with them is a lot of the work that needs to happen with you capricorn so if you guys have been having your partner person of interest in a pedestal and you know you feel like there are certain things about them that they need work and you acknowledge that but at some point it's almost like you're kind of seeing them from loving eyes i feel that that facade's going to come off and again, it's going to make you question, should we continue? Um, can we overcome this? And I feel, like I said, I feel very heavily that it has a lot to do with both your shadow sides. So I feel that in essence, you guys could be uh, in a pivotal moment in your life where there's a lot of transformation that's going to be happening, not just with them, but with yourself as well. And in this process, uh, it's almost like, you know, the layers of the onion, you know, being pulled one by one till you get to the center of what the issue is in regards to the connection, in regards to um, 
why it's not working out or why it hasn't worked out. Uh, what can we do about it and can we even fix it? I do feel that your pride is going to be hurt, Capricorn, which is why temperance is here. It's talking about also acknowledging that a lot of the times our insecurities or whatever we feel um, on a personal level, like you're being attacked, has a lot to do with insecurities that we're carrying with ourselves. So there is illumination here. There is uh, seeing things from a very different perspective, but they are definitely saying here that there is going to be uh, something that is going to be a culmination of whether this is going to break or make you um, in regards to the relationship itself. Now, in regards to your partner, I do see the 10 of cups here with the three of swords. So it could be a situation that for some of you guys, it could be a situation where you're dealing with a third party type of energy where you aware or where you find out that the person you were dealing with is in a committed relationship or has been in a committed relationship. Um, there is a bit of resistance in regards to, uh, you know, them wanting to commit to you. However, I do see the Ace of Cups here with the Nine of Cups. So this is definitely indicating to me that this is, they genuinely do have feelings for you. I feel that for some of you guys, timing could almost feel like your relationship or connection had a lot to do with timing. Timing wasn't right. And, you know, with temperance, again, timing. So what they're telling me here is, in essence, there is a very strong connection here with this person or with this individual that you're currently dealing with. But they do have a tendency of vibrating from the three of swords, which indicates having a tendency of stepping out of the relationship they had or they feel like they're betraying that connection because of the connection they have with you. However, they break it down, whatever their situation is. I do feel that they're choosing you, Capricorn. They are definitely choosing you because they feel that there is a strong pull here. There is genuine, authentic love. I feel that it's coming from a place of fear on their part. Uh, they fear that if they show you their vulnerability or if they completely give in to this connection, um, they'll end up getting hurt. So again, it's almost like they're viewing you as if I tell Capricorn what I'm truly feeling, they will have the upper hand. Uh, however, I do see that they will give in uh, to this emotion, to this connection. You are basically what they've been hoping for, Capricorn. You are what they want, their desire, where their focus is at. The Eight of Pentacles only solidifies that, uh, which is an indication of the desire to want to put in the work, to want to fix this, to want to uh, be able to understand and be on the same page with the Two of Cups here. You're definitely looking at that situation. Uh, you're definitely going to be uh, wanting or desiring to, you know, like I said, can we fix this? Um, ultimately, the decision will lie on you, Capricorn. I wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon. Bye.